Welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. In today's video, I will be sharing some easy, inexpensive, beautiful Christmas DIYs. Can you believe it? Thanksgiving's in what, less than two weeks? All right, so for this first DIY, I took these two place me mats, <laughs> mats from Dollar Tree, and I used my Cricut to create the Let It Snow image. Now today, uh, pillows are very expensive. If you notice, like if you go to any of those high-end stores, even in the low-end stores, even Walmart's pretty expensive. $2 to make this, and I used my Cricut, and it came out awesome. Very easy to do. So I'm just uh, tearing off the transfer tape in the back, and it's, ugh, I can't talk today, guys, I swear. And I'm just gonna apply it on top of the mat. I didn't use any um, iron-on, I just used regular vinyl. this design on my Cricut design space and I thought it was really pretty so now I'm just uh, making sure it's sticking to the fabric now I'm just peeling off the transfer tape and this is how it turned out look how simple and easy and beautiful it looks so now I'm going to put them together and I grabbed this pretty ribbon that I got from Walmart. I'm gonna hot glue it all around the pillow as a trim, a nice pretty trim. You don't have to use hot glue, you can use like fabric tape, I believe they have, like a Joann's fabric. Um, but this is just quick and easy for me to show you, you know, how you can make a really cute pillow for like two, three dollars versus paying 30, 40 dollars for some of these fancy pillows. This is not bad material that Dollar Tree has for their, you know, their mats and stuff. It's pretty thick and um, I don't know, they're stepping up their game, I guess. So I'm just finishing the trim and then I'm going to start stuffing it with uh, polyfill, the one that I bought from Walmart. Um, I think this came out so cute. You can use anything actually. Um, they usually come out with uh, different, <clears throat> different colors at Dollar Tree. Dollar General does too as well. Okay, so now I'm going to start hot gluing everything together and just making sure everything's aligned because sometimes those mats are not even at all. <laughs> so you just got to kind of like make it work. So now I'm going to start filling the pillow with the polyfill. I'm not going to fill too much um, because it's just going to be for decoration only. And I don't want it too fat. I just want it, you know, to look really pretty. So I'm just placing the polyfill inside like a little bit in the corners and just making sure everything's pretty even in there. You also have to make sure you get the ends of the corners. Now I'm just placing some hot glue and closing up some of the areas until I get to the end and then it'll be finished. Quick and easy. I think it took me like 15-20 minutes and look how it turned out. It's so beautiful. It's under three bucks. And here's how it turned out. Okay, for this DIY, I took this uh, wood piece that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to be using that. I'm using the black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to apply one coat. All right, so now that it's dry, I placed uh, Merry Christmas and a bunch of these little Christmas trees that I created on my Cricut. I don't know where that footage went, but anyways, now I'm going to take this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby and some of these green picks that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And I'm just gonna place one on each end with a little bit of glue. So I'm taking this Hobby Lobby ribbon and I'm just gonna make a little bow. And then I'm gonna place that right between the two picks. I'm using jute twine just to tie it off and a quick knot. So I'm just fluffing the bow, making sure it looks pretty. Um, now I'm just uh, 
Taking another pick. Um, this is like a little bushy long needle pick, I think it's called. I'm just going to place it right in the middle, right underneath. So I'm also going to use this little red glitter ball that was on the pick as well. I cut it off and I'm just going to place it on the side and put a little hot glue. And then I'm going to take, there's a, another one, it's a berry, red berries, and I'll place that on the other side. So cute, it came out really pretty. I'm just moving things around because it's kind of like blocking the word Mary. So I'm just moving things around. Now, I was thinking that I needed something in the middle because the jute twine was showing in the bow. So I grabbed one of the part of that ribbon and just rolled it in hot glue. I'm just gonna place it right in the middle. You could put a soft tooth hanger in the back if you wanna hang it. I just put a little bit of jute twine in the back with a little glue so this way I can hang it. I'm just cleaning up the glitter and I'm um, gonna reveal it. It came out really pretty. Another pretty idea, easy, fast, and comes out amazing. And this is the end results. For this DIY, I picked this up from Dollar Tree. I took it apart because I'm going to have to paint it. And I got this uh, craft paper from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using white Waverly chalk paint. And I got these bells from Dollar Tree. Now I'm placing the back end on the craft paper and I'm just going to trace it and then cut it and put it and add a little glue and place it inside. Now I'm just cutting out the craft paper. So now I'm going to be using the Waverly really White Chalk Paint and just paint the outside rim and the inside because um, once I place the paper inside, I don't want the green to show through. And now everything's dry. So I'm going to be using this tacky glue I got from Dollar Tree. Just going to put a little bit at the bottom. Then I'm going to place the craft paper on top. If you don't have any musical craft paper, you can always uh, print it out. Just type in Christmas music lyrics and you can just print it out and use that. Now I'm going to be using the red bells and the silver bells and just take a few out and place it inside. So I used my Cricut and I came up with uh, Jingle All The Way and I'm just going to apply that on the glass. So now I need to put this together so I'm going to apply some hot glue to the frame, the glass frame, and then I'm going to place it on top. Dollar Tree products with a high-end look, and this is how it came out. How adorable. I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree house, this nativity set that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to be using blue, but I eventually change it to a darker blue and the black chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to apply the black paint, one coat. Now I'm going to be using this gold metallic uh, paint for the star. I'm 
Now I'm taking the blue paint and I'm going to apply it inside. I want to create like stars, so I'm taking my toothbrush and the white paint and then just going to put it on the toothbrush and just kind of flick it with my thumb and little specks will appear making it look like stars. Now I'm using Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle and I'm going to paint the outside. So I want to give it a little gold metallic um, highlights so I'm just grabbing with it's easier for me to use my finger than a paintbrush because it's so tiny so I'm just grabbing a little bit of the metallic color and just like putting it on little corners and inside just highlighting some of the gold around it. This is what it looks like with the gold on it. I think it's very pretty. So I'm going to be taking these wood planks that I got from Dollar Tree. I actually cut them in half. I'm going to use them for the roof. So I'm going to be painting the plaques with antique wax. This is another cute project with uh, Dollar Tree um, products. So I'm going to be doing both sides for the roof because you can see it underneath. Now I'm going to be taking these three colors, this light blue, elephant gray, admiral blue I think it's called, and I'm going to mix them together because I need to paint the inside of the house because you can see the stripes coming through. I'm also using these colors because I want to create like the illusion that it's like that nighttime kind of effect with the bluish blackish uh, sky. Now I'm taking this apple barrel white paint and I'm putting it on a toothbrush and I'm just going to play it with my thumb and create the illusion of little white stars. I think it came out pretty good. It looks just like the sky. So I want to add a little sparkle to the background so I'm just adding a little bit of the white glitter. That's what it looks like. You can see a little sparkle to it. Now I'm going to start applying the roof pieces and take a little bit of hot glue and place them on top. It looks really nice. So I'm going to be adding some fairy lights that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to place them inside with a little bit of hot glue. How cute. And this is what it looks like with the lights inside. It's very adorable. So now I'm going to be taking the nativity piece and start hot gluing it down in front, just placing a little bit of glue. So I'm taking these two wood stars that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take the metallic paint and paint them both and then I'm going to sprinkle some white glitter over them and then I'm going to hot glue them together. I got this white glitter at uh, Walmart, but you can get them at Hobby Lobby or any uh, hobby store. So I'm just breaking a little bit on top just to give it that nice glittery shine. So now I'm taking the two stars, putting a little bit of hot glue, place it on top. This way it gives it that effect of uh, the Bethlehem star. And this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. 
So now I'm going to be placing it on top. Whoops, it fell. <laughs> now I'm going to be placing it on top a little bit of hot glue. And this is how it turned out. I think it came out very pretty, beautiful. When I turn the lights on, it's really such a pretty piece you could put on your table to display it for Christmas. This DIY is really cute, easy, and quick. I took the Dollar Tree frame, Dollar Tree little uh, tree ornament, and the Hobby Lobby uh, craft paper. Um, this comes out like high end. It looks awesome. So I'm just going to trace out the back of the frame and cut it out. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue just so it doesn't move around. Now I'm just applying the craft paper, making sure that it's uh, fitting properly so this way I can put it back in the frame. Now I'm just putting everything back together, putting the frame back together, and then I will reveal what it looks like. And then I'm going to take the tree. I do swap it out because that tree would not stay flush on the glass. Uh, I didn't want to break the glass with the hot glue. Although it did look very pretty, um, it, just, it was just too bulky for the glass. And this is what it looks like with that tree on it. Um, however, I do uh, find a wood piece from Dollar Tree and I'm going to take that with the white wear really chalk paint and I'm going to paint these. So I'm going to be using my white glitter and it's going to sprinkle a little bit on top of the trees and this gives it a really nice effect. So I'm going to place these trees with a little bit of hot glue and place it down on the frame. Now these trees lay flat so it made it easier for me to hot glue it. And I think these look very pretty, very high end. So I thought I needed a little bow, so I took this Dollar Tree white glittery um, bow that's very pretty, and I'm just going to make a little tiny bow and place it on the corner. So I'm wrapping the bow with a little piece of jute twine, cut it off, and then I'm going to glue it down. Um, I didn't want the jute twine to be shown in front, so of course I'm going to grab a little piece of the ribbon and hot glue it to the front. So I'm just taking the little piece of ribbon and wrapping it around the bow, placing a little hot glue, and then I'm going to place it on the side of the frame. So pretty. I love it. So I felt like it needed something else. So I grabbed these little silver uh, bells that I got from Dollar Tree and this little white yarn. And I'm just gonna wrap the bells, not wrap, but put the bells through the yarn. And I'm going to place it on the corner underneath the bow. This is how quick and easy you can turn a Dollar Tree product into something very beautiful, high end, and gorgeous for Christmas. And this is the end results. All right, guys, last DIY. I took this Dollar Tree bag. It's really cute. That Joy um, metal sign that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use this beige paint and these Dollar Tree uh, ornament bells. 
They're very cute. And the Dollar Tree frame. And I got the string from Hobby Lobby. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this Joy uh, piece with the beige paint. My intention was to uh, put beige, not beige, gold glitter over it. But then after I started applying the gold glitter, I realized it's not going to match the sign. So I do switch it. So here I'm applying the gold glitter all over it. And although it did look pretty, it just wasn't going to match. So I'm just going to take the frame out of the packaging right now. And then I'm going to move on to uh, the bag. I'm going to start cutting it. So because the frame is bigger than the bag, I really don't need to measure it because I'm going to have to apply some red fabric that I have um, because it, the bag's not big enough for the frame. Now I'm taking this table runner that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut a piece of it and I'm going to lay it behind uh, the bag because like I said, the bag's not big enough. So I'm just applying a little hot glue to the, uh, to the backing of the frame. So now I'm placing down the bag right over that fabric and giving just a little bit of hot glue um, just around the corners. So now I'm going to turn it over and place it back inside, put the backing back, put it all together. So now I'm going to be placing the little silver bells on top and I'm also going to be using this pretty string um, to tie behind it. So I'm placing that string behind the bells and just putting a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to place them both at the top of the frame. All right, so here's where I um, change the color of the sign. I'm putting Mod Podge on top of the gold, and then I'm going to apply the silver over the top. Now I'm sprinkling those sprinkling, sprinkling the silver glitter all over it, and I think it looks so much better. So I decided to use this Dollar Tree red glitter uh, ribbon um, to use inside around the edging of the bag because you can see it. So I wanted to camouflage it. Now I'm taking the joy piece and I'm going to hot glue it on the corner on the frame. I think this came out so, so cute. And it only cost me like, I think two, two or three dollars. And look how beautiful it came out. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. Let me know. Well, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.